Yeah, here it comes. Not a big discontinuity. That might actually be a bug in the simulator. There shouldn't be a discontinuity in the VNAV profile. Even if we give it constraints, it should uh, uh, find a continuous profile to get between the constraints. Our speeds are 180 at the, at the initial approach fix. Oh, now it's complaining about drag. I don't that. Not sure why it did that. It doesn't need drag. Around this, around that, we don't need drag. Okay, there's the horn indicating that we are coming up on our setting of 3500. Now, of course, it's a little level out of 4000. Should go into hold mode here. Even though I primed up 3500, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and prime this all the way on down. Now, it's not going to go down because I haven't pushed this button, but it will level off at 4000 for intercept in Navarro. It's a good time to zoom in a little more here. We're at Navarro. We're at 210, and we're essentially at, well, we'll, we will be at 4,000 by the time we cross that little tick mark there. So, we crossed it at 210, less a maximum, we crossed it at 4,000, maybe take a few inches. Now we're coming up on our Flex 5 retract speed, so go ahead and drop this back down, see what he wants to know, drag required. Don't understand why it's doing that, frankly. And as we're lining up now, you'll notice we're coming up on the localizer, and we are going to intercept the glide slope from a little bit below, perfectly normal. So I will go ahead and drop the gear, and we're in our final approach. The other thing I want to do is I want to prime the, set this on marker and activate it, so that it will actually hear the marker beacons when it's crossing. Well, and now we're working our way onto the localizer. There it is. So now is a good time to put it on loc lock. Localizer, so our VNAV, our LNAV profile now is localizer. We're holding a VNAV profile. We haven't actually armed the glide slope hold yet, but we will. We're close to the flaps 10 retract speed, so let's go ahead and go to 20. 172, is that what we want? That's about where it should be. We hit the midpoint, and uh, see it's dropping it down a little bit at a time there, so. So we're on localizer. I'm going to call that captured. We'll put approach mode, you know, you'll notice that all three autopilots come in for an ILS approach autopilot. 162, close to flaps 20, retract, go to 25. Approaching VREF. Haven't touched the stick or the throttle, mind you. Glide slip capture. Trying to hold 158. Let's hold it 155 at this first little play. There's the fix. Next stop, runway, 158. Now it's not going to go below 158 yet. Probably because I haven't got the flaps all the way down. Auto marker, confirming that we're set up. We're on speed at 158, goes to speed mode, so let's go ahead and just manually drop this down to call it 149. Our V-Rest 147, we'll go ahead and add two knots there, just be careful. I notice if I go to approach mode here, I've got your standard traditional setup there you're probably used to seeing. I prefer to look at it like this and watch my glide slope and localizer on the artificial horizon. So we're flaps down, gear down, auto brakes armed, spoilers armed. We're at the ref. And we're 2.9 DME from the runway. Now if you notice we're auto landing, it's called the land three mode. It's different from command. Localizer is our mode for lateral navigation and rollout is primed. Rollout is going to keep us on the center line once we touch down. We're on glide slope hold because we're still flying airplane, but we're going to go to flare mode when we get down below a certain 
al- or, uh, radio altimeter distance above the ground, and the autopilot's going to flare us automatically. Good looking landing configuration. Hear that approaching minimums? And there's the minimums at 400. 300. A bit academic on a nice, beautiful day like this, but. 200. Middle marker. 100. Watch the autopilot mode 50, now. 40, 30, Throttle idle. 20, flare. 10. And roll out. Touchdown. You notice spoilers came up automatically, never touched anything. And we're braking. 747 would not slow down this quickly. And at 80 knots, I'll take control. The brake. Retract spoilers. And flaps. Looks like we're going to run over a bus. Yeah, you know, playing chicken with a uh, crew van here. So much for flight simulators, artificial intelligence. I don't know. Maybe that's a police van that we've got a drug dealer on board they want to arrest. In any case, I'm going to shut down here. Overhead panel. Start the APU. Lights off. Com panel. Transponder off. Thrust panel. Kill fuel. TCAS system test OK. Once the APU comes up, we will leave it for the passenger deplaning or the police to come on board with the APU running so we'll have some air conditioning. you notice all the generators automatically cut off, the drive's all disconnected. Power available. On and air. And this is the way we'll leave the aircraft. Hope you learned something.